New Jersey Governor Chris Christie making an appearance on The Tonight Show, and he talked a little presidential politics. Here's what he had to say about a potential matchup with Hillary Clinton. Hypothetically. All right, All right so hypothetical. Hypothetically, okay. you run for president. Okay, hypothetically. Hypothetically, Hillary Clinton runs for president. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, do you think you could beat her? Hypothetically? <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Joining me now, Guy Benson, political editor for townhall.com and a Fox News contributor, and Richard Fowler, radio show host for The Richard Fowler Show. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday, morning, Arthur. Happy Friday the 13th. Hypothetically, could Christie take Clinton? Richard, you're up first. The key word here, Arthel, is hypothetically. Uh, and hypothetically, he cannot take Hillary Clinton, and here's why. The first problem Chris Christie has is he has a hard, he's gonna have a hard time making out the Republican primary. With the changes in the Republican primary schedule, he's gonna have a hard time winning in southern states, he's gonna have a hard time winning in, in far-right states. And I think beyond that point, he has to deal with his own controversies like Bridgegate, so on and so forth, that's also happening in New Jersey. So I think those are the two big issues he has before he can even get to talking about a possible matchup with um, Secretary Clinton. Guy, is Bridgegate over? Is it behind Christie? Uh, well, his numbers have stabilized in New Jersey, and there's been absolutely no evidence contradicting what he has asserted all along. So I think he's trying to put it behind him. He poked some fun at himself in that Tonight Show interview on that subject, which I think is probably a smart way of going about it. But look, he gave the right answer on this one. Of course he's going to say that. And I think no one's disputing, or I'm certainly not going to dispute, that Hillary Clinton is the front runner in the 2016 race so far. But as she learned in 2008, that status is not permanent necessarily. Uh, and it, we're two and a half years away from that election. A lot can change. Just look at the last week. Polls coming out showing her favorability rating. All right, is let me hang on. Let me show that poll. Uh, I'm going to show yeah. it for you right now. Here it is: a Fox News poll. Fox News poll on favorability for both of the candidates. We're our potential candidates. Pardon me. Uh, Hillary Clinton yeah. favorable 54 percent. Chris Christie favorable 33 percent. So um, I'm going to pick up with you, Richard. Uh, there, the, the political strategy behind going on the Tonight Show. What's the immediate uh, reason, and with a view towards 2016? you think? Well, Barthel, I got to tell you, if I was Chris Christie's um, advisor, I would definitely do the Tonight Show um, interview. It was a great, great, great ideal. He has to bring up his favorabilities, but the reason why his favorabilities are so low has less to do with the fact that people don't like him and more to do with the fact that he's a very, very, very low name ID compared to Hillary Rodham Clinton, who's been in the media spotlight for almost 20 some odd years. So what he's going to have to do here is find ways to continue to put himself out there, poking fun at himself, poking fun at his weight, poking fun at Bridgegate, um, to continue to build a personality for himself that could, you know, that could translate in every single state and across the American, the, the American electorate. And, and so I think it was a great idea for him to do this, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. So, Guy, we're going to play that video again of uh, Governor Christie on The Tonight Show uh, dancing or kind of whatever you want to call that. It was pretty funny. Here it is. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> seriously? Oh, my goodness. A little distracting, but I'm going to try to focus here. So, you know, seriously, I mean, do the dance moves remind people why those who like him actually do like like him a lot and that he's not always the in-your-face governor. Yeah, he's got a light touch. It's fun. Look, I just want to say I really admire the commitment that he made to that dancing bit. I mean, <laughs> that required choreography. That required a sense of comfort in one's own skin. I mean, for the benefit and frankly, taking pity on potential onlookers or bystanders. I generally never dance, period, let alone on national television. So <laughs> that was a fun moment. I think that's the type of thing that he or any Republican ought to be doing. You have to engage in the culture and not always take yourself so seriously because the American people want to relate to someone before they vote for them for president. Uh, Ten seconds to chime in, Richard. I completely agree with Guy here on this one. I think one thing that the American people like is a candidate or a president they can have a beer with, they, they want to have a beer with, and I think that's exactly what Chris Christie did here in this particular uh, dance bit. Um, I would dance on public television. I don't know about Guy, but, you know, hey, it's Friday the 13th. That's a whole other story, another segment. <laughs> I dance on national television. Take both of you on. How about that one, Richard Fowler and Guy Vincent? Bring it. <laughs> Thanks, No guys. one needs to see that. <laughs> Thank you. Dance challenge made. Take care. <laughs> Mission accomplished. A fierce glow.